In this video I will be using Active Setup and run once to set up silent installation for Brave Browser. And we are using Active Setup because Brave Browser is a type of software that needs to be installed for each user on the computer and the installation needs to be executed by the user. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here are the videos about Windows registry where you can find more information about run once and active setup. And there is also a video about creating an MSI package for Brave Browser installation if you want to deploy it using group policy or other software deployment tools. And the setup is pretty simple. I will be placing Brave Browser installation files in the C drive and then creating active setup registry keys. After that, the software installation will look like this. The user will sign into the computer. Active Setup will create a run once registry entry. And after that, the user's desktop will load. And after that, run once will start software installation for that user. And this will happen once for each user on the computer during the logon. And it will also happen for the users that I will be creating in the future. And now I will begin this video by downloading Brave Browser executable installation files. And for that, I will use this link that I have here. That brings me to the Brave Browser GitHub page. Then I will click on the release. And here we have many options for the installation packages. And I'm looking for a particular one. It's this one. Brave Browser Standalone Silent Setup. Basically, this executable is a silent uh, installation for Brave Browser out of the box. That means that we don't need any silent switches to perform a silent installation. So I will click on it. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And now that I have my executable, I will right click on it, select copy, and then I will go to VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine prepared. Then I will move the executable to my desktop, and then I will go to my C drive, and move the executable from the desktop to the C drive. And if this was a production environment, I would use another folder, but for this demonstration, I want to keep it as simple as possible. Then I will go back to my GitHub page, and as you can see here, I have a PowerShell command that I will be using uh, to create Active Setup registry key. Basically, we're creating the registry key install Brave for Active Setup. And then we're creating a registry entry stop path with this value. And this value right here will be executed for each user on the computer once. So I will copy the command. Then I will go back to my VMware workstation, go to my start menu, and I will open a PowerShell window. And I will run it as administrator, click yes, and I will paste in the command. As you can see, the command has been completed successfully. We can double check by going to the registry. For that, I will type reg edit in the command line. That brings us to the registry editor. Then I will go to local machine, software, Microsoft, active setup, installed component. And here we have our registry key uh, installed Brave. And it has a registry entry stop path. So everything seems to be fine. So let's see if everything works. So for that, I will close everything and sign out from my user. Then I will sign back in. So the desktop is loaded up for us. That means that the installation should start. I will try to open a task manager and see if I can see anything. And as you can see, we have some Brave Browser process is currently running. So we need to wait a bit and see what happens. And as you can see, the installation is done. We have our Brave Browser desktop icon right here. I will double click on it. And it seems to be working just fine. And like I said, this installation process will happen once for each user on the computer during the login process, even for the users that will be creating in the future. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Brave Browser using other software deployment tools, such as Group Policy or PDQ Deploy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that. And see you in the next one.